Whole blood, serum, plasma and urine samples are all key matrices for bioanalytical research. But what happens when these samples are inappropriate or unattainable for a particular study? What if analysis costs are too high or if a better option for sample preparation is available? In toxicological analyses, researchers have found alternative matrices such as saliva, sweat and hair to be accurate and reliable indicators for the detection of potentially harmful or illicit compounds. The benefits of utilising minimally invasive sample collection strategies include not only the advantage of increased frequency of sample collection, but also the increased opportunities for patients to self-sample in a convenient and stress-free manner. In this feature, we will be investigating the different alternative matrices available to the bioanalytical scientist. We will also be considering what key questions need to be addressed when deciding on the appropriate matrix to answer the specific bioanalytical questions. We will also be talking to Amy Mize, Vice President of Business Development at KCAS, about the future of alternative matrices and the key challenges that will need to be overcome in order to progress sample preparation and detection in an exclusive podcast. To find out more about alternative matrices, visit Bioanalysis Zone. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook for the latest updates.